I suppose it's time to make a video. Books are piling up on my desk here. Got to put them down in the lower level and put them in stacks. So yeah, so today is Saturday, July the 9th. It's 3.13 in the afternoon. It's a pleasant day. It's 76. And I'm trying to get this in order. So yeah. So I uh, put my diary away for the day. I usually end about this time of the day. Usually I, nothing really happens late afternoon, evening, nighttime. Usually I write in the mornings when I get up. I usually write until 3.30 and then sometimes I write at night. But usually I read all day. And then in the evening comes, since I stop watching TV, I, I just kind of sit and just think about what I've read during the day or think about life. So I ended on today on page 586. So tomorrow, I'll, on July the 10th, I'll be on 500 and it, page 587. So today is Saturday. It's my volunteer at the local library used bookstore. And uh, when I was, last week when I was at the local library used bookstore back in, where they sort the books that come in to be put in the used bookstore, I saw a stack of C.P. Snow's novels. I have one, I have one in my library, In Their Wisdom. In Their Wisdom, a novel by C.P. Snow. C.P. Snow was a British writer. He was a uh, physicist. It says here, about the author, born in Lanchester, England in 1905, C.P. Snow was educated at uh, Lanchester University College, then at Christ College, Cambridge, where he held a fellowship in physics and later became tutor. His first published works were scientific papers, particularly on infrared, infrared investigations of molecular structures. His serious career as a novelist began in 1934 with the publication of The Search. Next year, he planned, he started to plan The Strangers and Brothers, a sequence of 11 novels. And at the outbreak of World War II, Snow entered public affairs for his services and advisor on scientific personnel to the Ministry of Labor and afterward, as a civil service commissioner, he was knighted in 1957. In 1967, he became Lord Snow and served as the government as parliamentary secretary to the Ministry of Technology. He died in 1980. So he published uh, this 11-volume series, Strangers and Brothers. And some of those were in the book nook, and I, I don't, it's not the whole set. But at least six of them were seven of them. So I got Brothers, Strangers and Brothers by C.P. Snow. This is not part of the Strangers and Brothers series. This, he did in, individual novels outside the 11 volume series, Strangers and Brothers. So I have Strangers and Brothers, The Light and the Dark by C.P. Snow, uh, The Masters by C.P. Snow, Homecoming by C.P. Snow. The Affair by C.P. Snow. Corridors of Power by C.P. Snow. And then this, The Coat of Varnish by C.P. Snow. So I got these all for uh, $10 today from the book nook. So yeah, I. Uh, 
I like British writers. I like uh, Evelyn Wand and Virginia Woolf, Benson. Just goes on and on. So I got those today. And why out the book nook? I uh, I read. Uh, I mentioned this in my last video, The Great Fire, a novel by Shirley Hazard. I decided to read this since I plan to get her, uh, her novel, The Transient of Venice, next month used. I also got in the mail by Shirley, Shirley Hazard. I had read that she did a memoir, and a memoir called Green and Capri. She was friends with uh, Graham Greene, the British writer, for many years. They had a home on the island of Capri off the coast of Italy and they were friends for many years and she writes about their friendship and the circle of writers and people that they hung around with with, with Graham Greene. It's really well written. So I've been reading these the last two days, taking a break from my other reading uh, like I've been reading uh, 1982 by Janin, by uh, Alistair Gray, I was reading that. And the, Bo uh, the Bohemians, Mark Twain, San Francisco writers who are reinventing American literature by Ben Turnoff, been reading that. Been reading this uh, Timothy Leary, Outside Looking In, Appreciations, Castations, and Reminiscence edited by Robert Fort, and I've been reading The Brothers of the Quill, Oliver Goldsmith and Grub Street by Norma, Norma Clark, and reading The Ventures and Misadventures of Marcola Corral, Corral by Alvear Mutis, still reading The Glory of the Empire, a novel and history by Jean D. Ormosin, um, or Mrs. Sun. And I've been reading these essays by Gore Vidal, America, United States, essays 1952 to 1952 to 1992. So I've been reading that in the mornings. I've been reading The Scattered Lantern, Rediscovering the Felt Presence of God, and still reading The Scent of Mark Carmel, and reading the, the Bible. So that's what I've been reading. Uh, this week, starting, well, yeah, next week I'll probably carry on reading these books. I did go to the Thr uh, Salvation Army yesterday with my wife, and I found these used books. This is a novel by Peter Aykroyd. You know I'm a very fan of the writings of Peter Aykroyd, his fiction and nonfiction. This is his novel, Dan Lino and the Limehouse Golem. Uh, you know I'm a fan and, of Joyce Carol Oates' writings. This is an earlier novel of hers, I'll Take You There, by Joyce Carol Oates. Uh, this is a guy who writes novels and travel. He writes all kinds of things, but this is his... Uh, it's called The Old Glory Travels Down the Mississippi River by Jonathan Roban. I have couple of novels by him. He's written all kinds of books, but I really like it. He's a great writer, great prose, very interesting. I found a novel by Robertson Davies, a Canadian writer, playwright, The Cunning, the Cunning Man. I, I found this uh, essays by the naturalist and writer Diane Ackerman, Deep Play. I collect her writings. This is by the German writer Henrik Boll, The Silent Angel. This is translated out of German by Brennan, Britton Mitchell. I collect uh, Henrik Boll's writings. And I found a novel by Anthony Burgess, who wrote The Clockwork Orange, Doctor is Sick, Honey for the Bears, 
Nothing Like the Sun, The Wanting Seed. He wrote a, a book on Jane, uh, James Joyce, but this is his novel, Trimmer of Intent. It's an espionage novel by Anthony Burgess. This is uh, Benjamin Black. It's a pseudonym for the writer Jan John Bainfield, but under his pseudonym J Benjamin Black, John Bainfield writes mystery novels, and this is his Death in, the, Death in Summer. I found this first volume of a trilogy on the history of economics, the bourgeoisie virtues, ethics for the age of commerce by Direl Dietry, was it Dirry in McCloskey? And I found a book by the music critic for the New Yorker. This is his second book. His first book was called the Rest is Noise, Listening to the 20th Century, which we have in our library. This is his second book of writings, essays on the history of music and music. Listen to this by Alex Ross. So that's what I found at the Salvation Army yesterday. Everything I collect. I got all of those for $7. Can't beat it. So that's uh, what I got at used book sales. That's what I got at the book nook. That's what I'm reading. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday. And next week, there's no used book sales. But I'll probably go to thrift stores and look around. So yeah, so today I'll probably continue reading Green and Capri and read The Great Fire by Shirley Hazard. And I might look at the book on Timothy Leary again. Uh, I, I really like reading about the 60s, the psychedelic movement. Uh, everything else is kind of, kind of heavy. I like to get in, involved in a story, not so much some, something heavy. So anyway, I'm hoping you had a good week and hope you have a good week coming up. And until next time, bye.